Hi, I'm Brett Larkin and welcome to 18 days of yoga for your body and soul that I'm hosting with Yoga Outlet. Today's focus is balance and not balance as in balancing in tricky yoga poses, but we're actually going to balance our nervous system and the left and right hemisphere of our brain in a meditation. To warm up the body and just tap into this theme, come to all fours to begin. And just stack shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Good. Lengthen your crown of your head away from your tailbone, so feel your navel firm up and in just slightly. Take a deep breath into all four corners of your torso, so shoulders and hips move apart from one another, diagonally, side to side, and up and down. Breathe in. Exhale all the way. Good. One more time. Breathe in. Exhale all the way. Good. Keep the abdominal muscles firmed in towards the spine. Just inhale, come into a gentle up cat. Mm. Gentle down cat round. Good. Gentle up cat. Mm. Gentle down cat round. Good. Last time. Just rippling through the spine, warming up the body so we can sit better for our meditation. It's really hard to sit for meditation if you don't warm up the body just a little bit first. Good, and then just come to your neutral spine. So once again, feel the shoulders plug down the back, crown of head reaches forward, tailbone reaches back. Good, and then I want you to extend your right leg long behind you. So the right toes are curled under on the floor. Good. From there, think of lifting the right leg, but from your inner thigh. So your pinky toes are going to spiral down towards the floor, so all ten toes face down, and that right hip is still square to the mat. From there, extend your left arm long. Good. Imagine a line of energy from your fingertips to your heel. Breathe in. Mm, breathe out. Good. Breathe in. Mm, breathe out. Good. Let's add some movements. You're going to inhale. Lift the left hand and the right leg just a little bit if you can. Exhale. Pull elbow to knee as you breathe out. Good. Inhale. Reach. Exhale. Elbow to knee. Round. Good. So just combining the two movements. Inhale. Reach. Exhale. Round. Good. And then inhale. Just hold here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Take the left hand and the right knee back to the mat. Inhale. Find your up cat. Exhale, down cat round. Good. Inhale, up cat. Hmm. Exhale, find your neutral spine. Pull the navel up and in. Good. And then lengthen the left leg behind you. Spiral the pinky toes down. So really feel the leg long, heel pressing away, and then lift that left leg from the inner thigh. So you really feel the pinky toes spiral down to the floor and the hip stays in line with the rest of the body. Good. And now extend the right arm long. And breathe here. And feel the heel and the fingertips moving away from one another, even as the right shoulder blade plugs down your back. And can you keep your breathing as full as it was when we did up cat, down cat? Good, even though the situation's trickier. And now add the movement. So inhale, reach the arm up, maybe leg lifts a little. Exhale, round the low back, pull elbow to knee. Two more times, just on your own breath. Exhale, round. Inhale, reach. Exhale, round. Good. Inhale, reach and hold. So flex that back foot. Pull the navel's, navel up and in. Zip the front ribs closed for three, two. Spiral pinky toes to floor. One. Good. Take the hands and knee to the mat. And take a gentle up cat. And then just press back into your downward facing dog. Pedal through the legs. Good, and then I want you to walk your feet halfway towards your hands, so not in a full forward fold, just in sort of like a mini dog, halfway forward. So a shorter stance than your normal downward facing dog, prop up into the fingertips of the right hand. You're going to reach your left hand to the outside of the right thigh, and then just begin twisting yourself under your right armpit. Just a little stretch for the hamstrings and shoulders. So really bend the left elbow a lot. And it's like your head and chest wants to spin under the right armpit, but keep that right shoulder square to the ground. Good. Last breath. 
Take it. Take the left hand to the ground. Maybe prop up on the fingertips. Right hand to the outside of the left shin and begin bending now the right elbow so you can really find a twist in just the upper body. Lower back is neutral. Bend the right elbow. Press the left hand into the floor. Last two. Legs are strong. Press the legs back. Legs are straight. Final breath. Good. Place the knees down. Sit back into a child's pose. Just move the hips from side to side. A good little warm up. And then walk the hands underneath the shoulders. Press yourself up for a comfortable seat and we'll get ready for our meditation. You can light some sage or put some essential oils on your wrist or neck to kind of just help get you in the mood for meditation if that's something you think will help. But I find after warming up the body a little bit like we just did, it's a lot easier to sit still because <laughs> it's hard to sit still. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let the shoulders drop and roll down the back. So just feel your shoulders heavy like lead. And take another deep breath here, just feeling the sits bones ground down into the bolster mat, whatever you're sitting on. The crown of head just gently lifting away from that space as your navel firms towards the spine. So think of closing the front ribs, firming the navel up and in. So it's sort of like just what we did on all fours. The spine is just um, vertical now instead of horizontal. So we're going to do something called alternate nostril breathing. Look here at the screen. I'm going to show you. I want you to have your middle finger and ring finger released and the thumb is holding down the other two fingers. So middle finger and ring finger are released. And if this is uncomfortable, once I show you the technique, you can always adjust. And how alternate nostril breathing is gonna work, which is what we're doing here in this meditation, this pranayama breath technique to begin, is I want you to seal off the left nostril by pressing your index finger into just right the left side, the bridge of your nose. So find the bridge of your nose, go to the left side, so you block off the left nostril. And then how this works is we inhale through the right nostril for three counts, and you can build up to four, five, six counts as you get more experienced. Then we're gonna hold in the center, so your thumb is gonna block the right nasal passage as well. Retain the breath at the top. If you know uh, Mula Bandha, a gentle, gentle lift of the pelvic floor, you can do that as we retain at the top. And then you're going to let the middle finger go so you can breathe out the left nostril. And then we'll hold the breath out, inhale through the left nostril, pause, exhale through the right nostril. So you're just alternating. So you inhale right and hold, exhale left and hold. Inhale left and hold, exhale right and hold. Inhale, right, and hold, right, just in this pattern. So I'm gonna do a three count because many of you maybe never have done this before. And I will stop talking at a certain point. And if you want to retain the breath for a count of three or four or five or six to slow down the breath even more, I highly encourage you to do so. So uh, find your little mudra here. Let's exhale all the air out of the body. And then seal off the left navel passage with your uh, middle finger and breathe in through the right nostril for three, two, one. Use the thumb to block the right side, so block both. And now exhale through the left navel, nasal passage for three, two, one. Find a stillness, a pause. Keep the right side blocked. Inhale through the left for three, two, one. Maybe just find a short pause at the top. Both sides of the nasal compressed. And now lift the thumb. Release. Exhale through the right nasal passage for one, two, three. Little pause. Good, now inhale through the right nasal passage. Three counts, get tall. Find a little pause at the top, maybe just a beat or two. Release the middle finger, exhale through the left nostril for three, two, one. Maybe find a little pause as you 
Breathe all the air out and now inhaling left for three, two, one. Little pause at the top. Exhaling right for one, two, three. Little pause, inhaling right. Really fill up all the way now. Three, two, one. Block both nostrils, little pause at the top. Release left, exhaling left for three, two, one. Maybe a little pause at the bottom. Inhaling left, three, two, one. Block both nostrils, a little pause in the middle. See if you can lift the pelvic floor. So move your groin away from whatever you're sitting on. Exhaling right for three, two, one. Little pause. And continuing on your own. We're gonna do this for a few more minutes, so we will, I will go silent. Just continue on your own, just a few minutes, and then my voice will come back and we'll continue this meditation. So make sure you can keep your attention in. You're looking for those pauses when you have both nostrils blocked, maybe making that pause a little longer. And again, you're looking for little pauses when all the air is out of the body as well. So it's really a practice of slowing down the breath, finding more space between the breath. After your next exhale to the right, just let the right hand drift down, palms face up, bring the index finger and thumbs to touch. Take a deep breath in from the space between your sits bones to the crown of your head. And exhale all the way, in and out through the nose, just noticing any difference in the energy of the body. And breathing in three counts, tailbone to crown of head. Maybe visualizing a ball of light moving up the spine. 
Exhale, ball of light descends, crown of head to tailbone. And just three more times on your own, inhaling, visualizing that ball of light, move up the spine. Exhaling all the way, ball of light descends. And two more rounds on your own. Your next inhale, I want you to inhale, take the ball of light up the spine to the space between the eyebrows. And then as you exhale, keep the light up in the space of the head and just think of the light expanding in all directions from the middle of your brain out throughout the rest of your head and even beyond. So we'll inhale. Think of a ball of light moving up the spine, but as you exhale, the ball of light stays in the middle of the brain and just radiates out. So the inhale, the same ball of light rises to the crown of the head, but then on the exhale, instead of descending, it just expands. It settles in the middle of the brain and expands in all directions. Keeping your eyes closed, I invite you, if you like, to just take um, your index finger on your right hand and just lick it. And then press at the space between your eyebrows, just so you have a little moisture in the space between your eyebrows. And now you can just inhale, breathe the light up. Exhale the light from the center of the brain in all directions, but now pinpointing and focusing it more in that moist spot, right? That space between the eyebrows, just above and between the eyebrows. And again, it's helpful to just lick the finger and press into that point so you have a physical sensation of just maybe some moisture or tingling there. And now we'll just direct all our focus there. So breathe in, focusing on the space between the third eye, Space between, slightly above the eyebrows, and exhaling, just maintaining our focus and our awareness there. Observe your breath, notice if it's maybe become more still or if you feel less of a need to breathe, if the breath has become more subtle, no judgment, just retaining your focus at that third eye point. And we'll be here for a few more minutes. get distracted, just come back to your breath, come back to the ball of light, come back to your single point of focus, space between just above the eyebrows. Keep your eyes closed, keep your focus inward. I want you to just bring the palms together at heart center, eyes stay closed, and now just rub the palms together. Just build a little heat in the hands, rub them together. And then you're gonna take the heels of your hands to your eye sockets and your fingertips just wrap up into your hair. So you're pressing the heels of the hands into the eyes and your fingertips should be in your hair and just press here. Deep breath in, 
and deep breath out. Good, again, breathing in. And this time as you exhale, drag the hands down the face. So just giving yourself a little face massage. Take the hands now to the neck. And just drag the energy down your neck. So maybe moving one hand down the neck and then the other, giving yourself a little neck massage. And then massage your hands down the chest, down the sides of the body. You can do this a couple times, just massage down the sides of your own body, press the heels of the hands down the sides of the body, good. And then take it so your thumbs are in um, and your fingertips are wrapping around your seat or your thighs. So you're just kind of pressing down into the top of the thigh. So press down into the top of the thigh with the thumb and the fingertips wrap back around your seat or thigh. Good. And now just rub the thighs with the hands. So just moving the hands from the top of the thigh to the knee. Just rub, sending the energy down. It's like we want to take all that light that was in our head and now we're just massaging it down the rest of the body. Good. Uncross your legs slightly. And now just move from uh, knee to ankle, just massaging with the hands. Good, and then take your hands around each foot and just press your thumb into the arch of the foot. Just giving the feet a little massage, just grounding your energy down. And if you've had to open your eyes to look, <laughs> that's fine, just maybe close them again now. We'll just take right hand to the belly now in a fist and wrap the left hand over your right fist. Inhale, get long. And exhale, just fold forward. Yogic seal, just sealing in our meditation. You can let the head drop all the way to the floor if that's comfortable for you, or you can just lean forward slightly, pressing the fist into the belly. Okay, and gently come back up. Take the hands back to the knees, face down. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, dip the chin. Good, slowly open the eyes to take in the color of your room, color of the mat. Take your time going about your day and moving around. Maybe take some additional stretches if you want. Remember, you can get details on everything I used in this video in the description below. And I would love to hear how you're feeling. How did this meditation go for you? Let me know in the comments. Huge thanks to Yoga Outlet for making this video possible. And absolutely remember to subscribe to my channel. That's the number one way you can support me and free yoga online. Huge love from my heart to yours. Namaste.